Hey guys, welcome back to John's Watch. Today I'm taking a look at a game called Endless Legend. Now, Endless Legend is a, a 4x uh, strategy turn-based game. Um, 4x, I can never remember what the 4x's are. It's like explore, expand, and like other things. But um, you know, Civ 5 is a 4x game, so it's, it's one of those kinds of games where you like settle cities and stuff. So Endless Legend came out on Steam on 24th of April 2014. It's brought to us by Amplitude Studios, and its regular price is $34.99, or you can get the Founder Pack for $44.99. Uh, so it's only $10 more, and it comes with quite a bit more uh, stuff. I think there's a couple more races you can get in the Founder Pack. Now, usually when I get a new game like this, I like to just hop into it completely blindly. But, um, there, you can see here that there, there is going to be a, a tutorial scenario, uh, but it's naturally not available right now. So, normally I, I would like play the tutorial maybe off screen and then record the first bit of the game, uh, but I, I couldn't do that with this game. So I actually, uh, I started it up and I ended up having to put about two hours into the game just to try and learn what was going on. It is a very complicated game at the beginning, but it is very fun once you, once you get into it. So see there, I got to turn 67 there, uh, and then I think I rage quit because I died or something. <laughs> now there's quite a few options. Uh, I won't go into most of them, but one of the, the important things I wanted was the, the UI. And you used to be able to click big screen user interface. Um, when, I, when I first got this, which was only a couple of days ago, uh, I could click it. But now I can't, and the, in game the UI is a little bit small. Um, so hopefully that'll come back in an update or something. <laughs> you can also see it's going to get mods soon. Um, it's got multiplayer already. Uh, let's just hop into a single player game and hopefully this will be sort of a tutorial. So the default settings, you know, six empires, so six players, uh, normal difficulty, normal game speed, uh, normal mostly everything pretty much. Uh, Pangea, so it's all all one single landmass. There's lots of other ones you can choose, though. You can customize a lot of this. If you go to advanced settings, you can change a lot there. Uh, you can change a lot in the, the map stuff. Like, pretty much everything is very, very customizable. And right now there are the seven factions you can be. Um, see, I think that the, the default game only comes with like four of these or something, and the Founder Pack comes with extras. Um, but the Draken class was just released, I think about mid-August, and I really like the Draken one. Um, you get to be like these, these awesome flying dragon people, and they are amazing. They are a lot of fun. You can, you can also go random if you want, and you can change all the AI. Um, uh, but we'll just go with a default game, and we'll start it up. Okay, here we are in game. Uh, I did forget to mention that it is early access right now. Okay, so here we are. This is the little bit we can see right now. Um, zooming out is amazing, so we can zoom in pretty close. Uh, that's a temple right there. Um, that's our little guy. But I'll show zooming out. So if you zoom out far enough, it um, it takes away like the realistic looking ones and just puts like map icons. And then you can just zoom all the way out, so you can get into sort of like a strategic view uh, just by zooming. It's amazing. And uh, apparently we've already met all the other um, players in the game. I don't know why we automatically met them. Sometimes it does that, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, so this toggles the the, the hex grid. Uh, I quite like it on for this game. This button down here shows the Fidzy output. So that is uh, food, uh, industry, I think. I'm not sure if it's industry. Uh, when I found my city I'll show those off. Actually, we want to see those to find where to put our city. So, we'll leave that on for now. Uh, but if we click our little guy, we've got um, a, a troop of three units. So we can just choose our settler if we want. So it's just the settler, we'll leave the Drakenlings there. And now we want to choose somewhere good to settle. Somewhere with uh, big numbers and lots of numbers. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's much great here. 3-1 um, and 3-1 and by a river might be not bad. So we will... Where'd he go? Settler... Can I settle that far away? Yeah, I can. So here we go, and he'll wander over there with the rest of them, and he'll settle our first city. So here's the fitzy stuff. We've got uh, food, uh, industrial potential, so that's like um, production kind of thing, uh, science, dust, uh, which I believe is, is, is sort of like money, uh, and influence. And um, my, my race is quite reliant on, uh, on dust. You can see here, if we hover over there, uh, you can see over on the left, the, the upkeep is minus 7 dust per turn. 
uh, and altogether we're earning five. So now we can choose our other guys, and we could split them up or we can send them uh, both together. I think I'm going to keep them together, and they'll, they'll just wander off a little bit. There they go, lovely. So now just like Civ, um, you can choose the production of your city and you can choose the technology. So you can see it says no research selected, so if we click the science, or sorry, the, the research screen, you can choose to research something. Now research works in errors. There are, let's see, there's six errors of research. Um, in this stage, the last two aren't available, but in order to reach the next level of research, if we hover over here, you've completed two out of the ten projects required to unlock this error. So you have to research ten things in the first error, and then you'll open up the second error. And the the Draken links, or sorry, the Draken race starts with uh, Empire Mint researched and Language Square researched, and each uh, segment of the the tree is um, a different sort of style of research. So we've got military research up here, uh, science and industry, uh, economy and population, eco the economy and population, and empire and expansion. So. Search party is quite a uh, quite a good one to get first. It improves the search on ruins, and you do find a lot of ruins in the early game. So we'll choose that, and you can actually queue things up if I wanted to uh, research military science after that, which I probably will actually. I can just click that, and it says little number one that has number two. So that's the research screen. Uh, and now we want to choose our production for in here. Um, so we do have Empire Mint researched already, and I think we'll just start start building that right away. So, Empire Mint, Founders Memorial, um, they're just like city buildings, um, and then these two are units. You can just click out of that. There we go. And that is our first turn. These, yeah, these are the temples, so we'll go search those soon. Actually, how long is it going to take for uh, this to be done? And it's going to take... why is it not telling me? Four turns. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll probably go for that one anyway. So we'll end the first turn. There we go. You can see the UI does look a little... oh, there we go. So, a new quest. We have to level up two Drakenling units to their level two. Um, the quests are a very cool um, part of the game, and it kind of gives you a bit of a goal. So, I want these guys to get into some battles. Um, there's not too many battles going on in the first ten turns or so, but after about ten turn... turn ten even, uh, you start seeing quite a few enemies. So, we're going to get him to wander over here. Doo-doo-doo. Lovely. And you can inspect those ruins. Your search of the location was worth the effort. We found ten wine. Oh, cool. So we got some luxury resources. So you got, um... So for ten turns, we have plus thirty, uh, like, approval in cities. What is that, like, thumbs up thing? Contentment. Okay, so yeah. Cool. And you can see over here, uh, this little one. That means we've got one army who still has movement left. So where are we going to go next? Let's just head down, shall we? We We'll zoom out a little bit. Uh, now, a very cool part of this game um, is the the seasons. So over here, uh, at some point in the future, it'll be the, the land oracle will be played by a return of winter. So you can see it says 9 to 25 turns before winter comes back. And the first time winter comes, it lasts about 3 turns or something. But then the second time, it's uh, it's quite a bit longer. And we just got a notification. Population has changed, so we've got two population now. Hooray! And it doesn't know when this thing's going to be done. Why not? I don't know. It's just taking a while, is all. <laughs> Alright, let's keep moving. We want to find a fight. We've encountered a new minor faction. So they're a bit like city-states in Civ. The Ericus. They're multi-headed Hydra things. Ooh. And if you assimilate them, which you do by fighting and, uh, like, taking them uh, into your, you know, if you just assimilate them, uh, you get 0.5 uh, extra movement per pacified Ericus village on units. So there you go. Great, and that's them down here. He can still move a little bit. We'll move him along there. Now, um, this means they're hostile, so this one's hostile as well. So, um, in a few turns, it's likely that we'll see their uh, hostile units wandering around, and we can uh, then we can try and fuck them up, and I'll be able to show off the the combat system. Is that a ruin? It's a glass steel deposit. That's um, that's that's like a strategic resource in the game. 
Uh, you can see over on the, the left there, it's got strategic to the strategic resource. I think this is strategic. No, it's ruins. Uh, we'll go see that. Do I have any like luxury resources up here? God, I've got like bugger all here. I chose a really terrible spot to settle. Uh, we've got a strategic resource of Bastille there as well. So winter could be coming. Oh, research complete. Search party, good. Uh, excellent. And now it's automatically going to do research, or sorry, military science because we chose it. That's still not going to be done for a while. Uh, was this it? Yeah. So let's go on in here. We got five glass steel. Cool. Fantastic. And also oh, our, our hero, which is this fellow down here, has gained enough experience to reach level two. So we can go inspect him and you can choose something to upgrade. So you can upgrade his class specific stuff, um, which is like the Draken uh, skill set, the common stuff, which is available to everyone, or the faction, which is, I'm not sure. Now I quite like the, the, the level one in his class because it gives uh, defense, plus one defense in units. So I'm gonna take that one and then we apply it. There we go. Fantastic, and these guys can still move. Any more runes around here? Should we turn the Fitzy off there? We'll turn the Fitzy off. <laughs> and we'll get moving over here. That's just a geyser there. Oh, more fellows over here. Uh, they should be the same kind, though. Oh, we can't see what the, the region's called. I love that map. It's so cool. Oh, there you go. So this wine deposit that I'm standing on. Let's just move them off. Uh, wine deposit is a luxury resource, and that gives um, plus 30 uh, approval or contentment in cities. Fantastic. Oh, ge geothermal pit. So anomaly. I think anomalies have pretty high fidsy. Yeah, they do. They have quite high fidsy. So you usually want to try and find an anomaly anomaly around your place. Uh, I, of course, do not have an anomaly. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I did choose a very terrible place to settle. Why is this still not being worked on? I don't know. So I don't have enough, so I could probably move my workers over here. This is like the, the specialist, so because I've moved two workers into uh, production, it's now going to take 10 turns. There we go. What's this? Population has changed. Yes, yeah, so that's. So we've got three now. I want to find enemies. Is that another ruins? Yeah, it is. Come on, give me enemies. I want to do some fighting. My Drakenling's hunger to level up to level two. <laughs> Let's go inspect these ruins. 30 dust, nice. There we go, nice. Looking good. We've also got our glass steel there. Uh, oh, you can still move, can't you? Oops. There he goes. Fantastic. How's our city doing? Now, the the thing with the, the city production is if eight turns pass and it finishes, it won't warn me that there's nothing new to, to produce. So I'd have to go back there and set it myself, which is a bit annoying. Uh, maybe that'll change in the future? I don't know. Uh, but right now it won't warn you. Is this a new faction? I don't know what they are. Hello? The bows. It hasn't told me I found someone new yet. Of course, I have left my city uh, undefended. So... <laughs> Hopefully, uh, hopefully these guys won't get angry and come fight me. Oh, there we go. So military science is finished, and now we can choose something else. So now we've got four out of the ten uh, projects required to unlock the second era. So now we have to choose something else to research. Uh, let's go for sewer system, because that will give us um, plus 20 approval. Uh, sorry, plus 20 contentment and one approval, and that will be useful. Then we might go into the science stuff. Public library? Yeah, I think we'll go for the public library after that, so we'll just queue that up. Fantastic, and these guys can still move. And it looks like this is uh, another civilization's border right here. Yeah, we can see their city right there. Who's red? Oh, it's another Draken place. Okay. Uh, we probably won't go see them. We'll just wander around. What's this? A life tree, cool. What's the fidsies on that? Damn, look at all that food! That's nice, that's very nice. We want to keep them fairly close to the, our home city. Because things will start wandering around here looking for fights soon. Let's get you moving. 
Is that a temple? Yeah, it is. Grab a look at it. Oh, we can only go there this turn. Fine. Well, winter could potentially start next turn. Could happen. It didn't, but it could. Alright, get in there. You found nothing. Oh, good. Alright. Let's get over here then. A little place of the. Uh... Who are these people? Oh, the Ericus again. Is that another temple? Yeah, it is. Cool, cool. Oh, that was another. Uh, sorry, ruins. That was another ruins there. We missed a ruins. Okay, so a new Emperor plan will be unlocked in six turns. Save some influence points if you intend to implement critical policies. I will show that off in six turns. Oh, there we go. There's some things over here. Roaming army. I don't think we can get over there that quickly, though. Oh, well. They probably won't attack us. Oh, there was nothing there, either. Okay, we'll, we'll move on up. Did I just get... Yeah, we just got a new citizen. So do I want to move him at all? We're doing three production. We'll just leave that. Oh, they've run off over there. Let's see if we can find them up here. We should meet them up there somewhere. I want to level them up. What's their uh, experience at? They're like halfway there. They're actually over halfway, so it shouldn't take too long. What's this? Construction recently completed. So that's the only notification it gives you, but... Um, in Civ, where it won't let you go into the next turn without choosing a new production, this, you can just leave it not doing anything for a long time. Ooh, Stronghold Architecture. Plus 15. Yeah, plus one XP per turn, that'll be quite useful. That only takes seven turns. Uh, there's a little option here. Um, if you have all the money, you can buy it and it'll be produced next turn. I don't have the 178 gold though, so I won't do that. Oh, more ruins. Uh, yeah, ruins. Where'd those sneaky things go? Can I search them? Yeah, I can. Nothing, wow. Good thing we got that search party tech, eh? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so the Empire Plan thing. So we can click this, and it takes us into the Empire Plan development. Uh, so we've got 19 influence points to spend, and I think we're going to go for the military one. So, oh, we need level 2. Can I get level 2 yet? No, I can't even get level 1, actually because it costs 20 points and I don't have them. So we have to wait until the next round to be able to do that. Oh, there was a salt desert so close. What does that give? Oh, that's not that good. Still better than where we settled, jeez. Aha, there's the sneaky things. Come back here, you bastards. Oh, I've encountered some haunts, great. Fantastic. Is that the haunts? They must be the haunts. Yeah. Can I fight them yet? Yeah, I can. So, uh, I've got quite a lot of people in my army, they've got one, and you can see the victory chance is like over 75%. So you can choose your strategy, uh, I usually go for offensive, and you can do manual or auto um, combat. Uh, I'll do manual just to show it off, but I usually end up doing auto, especially when it's this high. So ready to fight. And there we go, we are in combat now. So now I have to deploy them. That's my hero, just standing up there. Alright, and these are my troops. So, they've just got the one troop, so I want to move these guys there. Move these guys there. Can they move a little bit more? And that's all. Do I want him to go anywhere? I'm going to leave him there for now. Yeah. Alright, ready up. Uh, assign targeting orders yet. Uh, target. Uh, target. Target. <laughs> I think they're all targeted already. So launch. Can they reach them from there? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, we took a lot of damage there. Oh look, oh I thought they were gonna buddy up there on the same tile. Yeah, so I think they've got an advantage from being on the hill. Um, that's unfortunate, they've got quite a good position there. But I don't think they took much damage. Oh, there we go, he's just casting some fire away. Good old hero. Uh, yeah, they've all targeted, so we'll launch that again. There we go. God, they're taking a bit of damage. Ooh, we've lost one of their little guys. And they are dead. There you go. Combat, done. Oh, a bit of experience, and they all group under the one guy. Lovely. Yay. And we got 1.8 experience. So they're 34 out of 40. They're pretty close now. 
thinking that just in a couple of turns they should be done. Oh, there we go, so that's winter begun. Um, all units can move 50% uh, slower. Um, you can see lots of stuff happens. Um, it just makes it quite a bit harder to, to live in. So we'll dismiss that. And that could potentially end the next turn, but it could also end in 14 turns. So you can see our movement. He can just move two tiles instead of like the three or four he could before. And uh, if you're in like the grassy area, he'll just move like one tile per turn. <laughs> oh, there we go. So they both just uh, leveled up. So we completed that and we got... Oh, we got an item. Oh, great. Oh, so you can actually customize the units. God, I haven't even shown that off. Okay, I'll have to do that. And the next one is reach 10 uh, influence in one of your cities. Okay, we can do that. So if we click this little fella... Uh, how do I customize him? Okay, for some reason I can't remember how to customize the little individual units, but if I go to my hero, uh, you can see his equipment here. He's got this lovely tier 2 uh, armor that I just got, so I'll equip him with that. Lovely. Does he... No, he hasn't leveled up yet. Or has he? Yeah, he has. Uh, should we level this up? Yeah, let's, let's just do that. There we go, and he can move. And there we go, that is winter done. Summer has returned, hooray. So I think I have showed off everything I want to. Uh, that was quite a long video. We only got about 30 turns in. So since I'm gonna end the game, uh, I'm going to attack this place and, uh, oh, it looks like we're gonna do pretty well. So we'll auto do that. And bam, we did it. Great, and now this is ours, I guess. The village has been pacified and will provide its benefits to the Empire Controlling Region. What were the benefits? Um, got it. I don't know. I don't remember. We can probably see it somewhere, can't we? Oh, I see. So I've got 28 um, uh, approval or whatever that was. So if I click this, um, I need 30 to assimilate them. If I do, I get plus 5% signs per pacified Haunts Village on cities. Okay, so if I go to the next turn, I should go up to 30? And then I can assimilate this place? There we go. So that's 30. How do I assimilate it? Um, okay, I found it. You just have to go into the Empire screen. You click the assimilate thing. And now we can assimilate them. Bam! Fantastic. We assimilated it. Hooray! Alright, so that's all I'll show off in this video. Uh, it was quite a long video. Um, but it, there's a lot to show off in the game. Uh, like I said, it's quite difficult at first. But I'm understanding it a lot better now. Each game I play, it gets a bit easier, and it really is a lot of fun. And uh, it really does look amazing, and I love this effect. It's so cool. So there you go, that was Endless Legend. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!